Private Island. Island. Oh, I want to see private islands. What? You don't sell those? What kind of crappy web? What kind of crappy website are you? Oh crap! I didn't know I was recording. Hello everyone, Tom here, aka Nostra Thomas, and today we are going to talk about those hot IPOs coming out this week. We are talking about Airbnb, and we are talking about DoorDash. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that early thumbs up. Go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button. You know what? Actually, I don't care. Don't hit the subscribe button. I don't need you. I don't need this YouTube money. You saw me already searching for private islands. I'm getting rich off my Tesla and Bitcoin over here, but that doesn't matter. Today, we're going to talk about Airbnb and DoorDash. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'm not 100% sure here, but I believe both of these start trading Wednesday morning. It's kind of confusing. You know, all these articles, man, all, all they care about is you click in their ads and etc. So if anyone knows that answer 100% sure, please post it in the comments below. Like this says, DoorDash IPO is slated for December 8th, which is tomorrow. But trading the debut on Wednesday, the following day, right? Everything I have seen for Airbnb is slated for Wednesday morning. I'm super excited for that one. I will be live streaming. I am looking to actively trade Airbnb. You know I'm not a financial advisor. This is entertainment purposes only. And please come join the live stream, but do not do what I do because I am reckless. I'm a loose cannon. I may do something foolish. I may lose some money. Who knows? Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I am not interested in DoorDash whatsoever right now. And I'm really kind of not like I think Airbnb could be a great long term hold. And but I'm probably not looking to accumulate any right now for a long term hold hold. I think there's so much better opportunity out there. The, the things that I have been in heavily lately have been like Neo and Xpeng, but I'm out of Xpeng now. Tesla is like 70, 80% of my account. I've been beating that Tesla drum ever since this channel's open and I've been making a fortune and I do not see Tesla slowing down. Also going forward, I will be looking to diversify about half of my money towards cryptocurrency. I am more conviction in Bitcoin and Ethereum than even Tesla right now. And my conviction in Tesla is all time highs. Some other stocks out there that I really do like. I think Square is one of the best stocks out there. You can get so much potential on Facebook. If you ever want st to stay up to date on what stocks I think are hot, check out my M1 finance link down below to the ETTF. And those are the stocks that I would, I am in with that account, but it's a smaller account. For my main accounts where I'm real heavy into Tesla, real heavy into options trading, doing some futures trading, and soon to be some very heavy cryptocurrency trading. As the Tasty Works exchange comes online later this month, link down below. I do believe Tasty Works is hands down the best broker on the planet if you're an active trader. The M1's a great, the best broker on the planet, in my opinion, if you're a passive trader or a beginner trader or both. Here we are taking a quick look at DoorDash. As I said, I'm really not interested. I might try and do a little day trade or two. Try and make me a little lunch money. Get a little lunch money. Maybe have DoorDash deliver it. It's not that I hate the company. It's just like they're losing money. And you know, when it comes to companies like this, I have to have the belief that they're going to be massive growth potential. I just don't like personally, I just don't get it. Like I do think it's a great product. They got so much competition out there with Uber Eats and other things coming online. For me personally, this one's a pass for me, dog. So here we are looking at Airbnb, and I do like a lot of what this company is about. I do see massive, huge growth potential here. But, you know, buying into the IPO, it's a very risky business. It's hard to tell what's going to happen. There's so much hype into this. The, the valuation of the company keeps going up like crazy. The, the, the amount that the stocks are going to come out keeps the price keeps going up. It's gone from for like $40 a share up to like 56 or 60 now, man. This these these banks that are putting this out in the company, it's all about getting as much cash as they can right now to grow. There's a lot of hype into this company. It's massive. It's big. I want to compare it and think it to like how uber was when they came out we can take a look at their chart kind of see how that worked out so i'm seeing a lot of that there there's going to be a lot of fomo a lot of momo a lot of people are going to get their face melted off on this maybe myself included during the live stream i'm going to try and keep it light but you know i might try and day trade a hundred or a couple hundred shares just again see if i can make me a little lunch money 
Man, IPOs are extremely risky. We can also take a look at Snow. That one was crazy, man. That thing came out extremely high. And everyone's like, oh, this is crazy overpriced. And then the price plummeted. And then they came out with their earnings or what have you. And now the stock's higher than ever. It's insane. So who knows what's going to happen with Airbnb. A lot of people are thinking like this is the next best thing since sliced bread because they're seeing it as a recovery stock. But all that stuff's being built into the price right now. So at the end of the day, they're going to have to deliver. So for me, again, I think this company could be great potential, but it's extremely risky. Personally, I'd probably wait for a while, like after the six month or whatever the lockout period is going to be or what have you. It's always much, much like nine times out of 10, 90, 99 times out of 100. It's always much better to wait, give the IPO time, and then buy in when it's really proven itself, right? So that's my opinion anyway on this stock. So here we are, let's take a quick look at the Uber chart. This came out, what is this IPO date? May 10th, right around May 10th, May 9th. May 10th, it looks like 19. Boom, like right away, you see it go up really high and then the next day, man, that thing was down in the cellar. Then it started recovery. Are you ready for that kind of volatility? Because I think it's gonna be crazy in Airbnb. But it didn't take too long like a month later man you were you thought you, you it didn't smell you know what i'm saying and then boom all the way down down into the 25 dollars range and then like i was buying uber then and i was doing pretty good with it got all the way up then the rona hit that thing crashed and then it recovered like a lot of stocks but it's one of those stocks man they got hit really hard so look like what's going on here like as far as I know, someone tell me if I'm wrong here. Why is this stock trading for $54? That makes no sense. There's no way their earnings report was good. They're pricing in a recovery. Like this stock is going to be like crazy after the vaccine is what I'm assuming. But even at that rate, like, is it really going to like, I mean, it wasn't even doing that before the Rona, you know? So ah, maybe that's, that's baked in a little heavy for me. I think this uber price a little heavy but anyway i just wanted to kind of apply that to airbnb so you never know airbnb could be another snow but look how this one is man this one came out around 250 all the way up to over 300 and everyone's all like calling that insane and which is in just a few days this thing was all the way down to 209 and then it kind of recovered consolidated had a little shoot up here a little fomo going on i guess i'm not sure why it went to this so back up to 300 then all the way back down to 228 man that's a yeah you know, that's a there's gonna be a lot of playing like this with airbnb probably even more so and then boom like back up to the moon then i guess oh they had an earnings report and then that thing just took off to mars so snow like right now i'm very intrigued by this company but i'm not in it so it's gonna be the same with airbnb i might play around with it long term i love the company but I'd much rather long-term put my money into something like Tesla. To me, I'm more of a like a chicken Singapore kind of guy where I have too much money in Tesla, but that's how much conviction I have in the company. Again, I am gonna be diversifying some of that out into cryptocurrency and there's some other stocks that I really do like. I do have like 500 shares of NEO and I'm kinda seeing how that goes for now, but I'm eventually probably gonna take that out, most of that out and put it into crypto, maybe even back over more into Tesla, who knows. Anyway, just want to give my thoughts on this IPO coming up. IPOs are huge gambles. Typically, I avoid them, but I do want to live stream it. It's going to be a big one. I want to have fun. You know, come in, ask questions, watch me trade. Let's have a little fun with it. So yeah, please come join the live stream. Let's have some fun. Ask me some questions. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you if you made it to the end of the video. If you're hot into the cryptocurrency like I am, Check out this recent video I did on Bitcoin. I got many more to come.